this is the fastest way to work in After Effects. What you're going to want to do is open Premiere and After Effects. As you can see, I haven't opened any project. I'm going to be starting with a new one. Uh, we're going to just name it anything. Alright, once you've created your project, you're going to want to go ahead and make a sequence. It's what you normally make. It doesn't have to be anything special. I already have a preset in here. It's called Music Videos. And it is 2560 by 1440. And the frame rate is 23.976 frames per second. Now we're going to import our footage. Alright, once you've got it in here, you're going to want to right click, go to proxy, and click create proxies. From here, um, I don't know what the default settings are, but for most people, it should have H.264, and you're going to want to put low resolution. From there it's going to open up media encoder I have a previous project ignore that all right so as you can see it's it's encoding right now what this is basically doing it's taking the video and it's compressing it all right so now it's done we can go back in here and we can Alright, we're going to take our video, we're going to do keep existing settings, we're going to do skeletal frame size, you see we have it in here, we're going to duplicate this and then we're going to go to replace with After Effects composition, and then you're going to want to put it in the folder that you're working in. So once you have it in here, <coughs> you get your full video, right, you get your full video in here, now in your project folder in After Effects, there should be this little box here. You're going to want to click that. If you don't see a box here, you're going to have to right click, set proxy, and then file. And you're going to go to wherever the original video is. There should be a folder right next to it, proxies. And then you're going to double click that. Now the box should appear. Alright, so now we're actually working with proxies in After Effects. This is on full resolution. No problem rendering. Let's go ahead and turn it off and see what it looks like. You can see a little difference around the edges of the wording and it just creates a little bit more pixels. All right, now keep in mind whenever you're about to export and you have this in the render queue or if you export through Premiere, you're gonna wanna turn this box off otherwise it'll export with the proxy attached and you don't want to have that it'll just decrease the quality throughout the whole music video just remember to turn this off right before you export and then you should be good h.264 render at maximum depth and use maximum render quality um, hardware including cbr and then target bitrate 30 um, I recommend 25 but I always go 30 that's what I've been doing for a while now all right now we're ready to export I usually export with a uh, media encoder so it'll just throw it in here if you guys enjoyed this little tutorial be sure to like um, if you have any recommendations on which I want to see in the future uh, let me know and I'll try to do my best to help you all out I have more um, After Effects tutorials coming soon on like the liquid stuff that I've been doing on my channel. So a lot of stuff like that will be coming soon. Uh, but for now, I'm just going to start out with the basics and just try to help people with the uh, compositing and um, just little stuff like that. Nothing too major right now. Yeah, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.